What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson, and welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. So, on today's episode, we are going to mess with the Twinnebago a little bit. Uh, it is a weekday, it is after hours, so we'll keep the video short. But, long story short, we're going to try to take the master cylinder out of the Winnebago. Not the other ones that you saw me do in the previous video from underneath, those are out already. I want to take the main one that the pedal actually actuates. So, um, we got our donor here out of a Tahoe, I believe it was an 04. And then we can also measure for length because I think this might run into the shock mount. But first things first, let's go have a look at this bad boy. See what we're up against and see if we can't get it out. That's kind of the mission today. If I can just get this one out, then we get a plan of attack. See how close the bolt holes, mounting holes and all that fun stuff are. So uh, let me move this dude. Fun part two is our boys right here. Um, I'm gonna wait to undo these so we don't make a terrible mess. And then there's a shock location back there. But let me figure out what size bolts or nuts are holding this bad boy on. You kind of see them back there. And uh, yeah, I gotta get them from, so I gotta get them from this side. Maybe we can all do it all from the front. That won't be so bad. I'm gonna clean these off, figure out what size it is, see if we can take, take those loose, get this dude off. And uh, that's it. Let's get the party rolling and see if we can take that off. I don't know who uh, whose idea was to build a Turbo Winnebago. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. All right, if you look from here, that is a much better angle. So it's these bolts here. Uh, and there's my soft line at some point, but yeah. And then I'll probably have to either remake this or reuse that. But anyway, so I'll just take those out, take the little kicker off, then this guy should come out and uh, break those lines free, and we'll see what we're working with. Wait. So, broke all these dudes loose. I got a couple crescent wrenches. Let me see if we can get this guy off here. Well, since it's a GoPro, I can bring you guys in here. One advantage of being a little dude is I actually fit in here, but, this bolt right here, this is one of those one of those bolts <clears throat> where you turn it and then you gotta flip the wrench and you turn it. It's just miserable. I think they, the only pet peeve I have uh, wrenching on stuff are bolts like this that are really hard to get to and that you only get a little bit of movement every single time and you gotta flip the wrench around, do the hokey pokey. You put it on, it moves like a little bit. And then usually what's even worse than this, at least I can kind of get in here, is one where you can't see it. And then you gotta put your hand up there in the abyss and do the hokey pokey and you drop the wrench on your face a bunch. Um, so yeah, a few more strokes of the old magic uh, 11 16ths here. We'll have that off. Then we can crack these lines and this boy should be home free. But um, since you guys are under here, there's a look at the distance I have uh, to that. So now with the Hydro Boost unit, I think that shock is gonna be an issue. I'm hoping Maybe we could just clock it back a little bit further, like drill a new top hole and then boop, but we'll see. Then pull it out of here before we get too ahead of ourselves. So we got the nut out. Um, it had the spring attached to it, so at least I didn't take that to the face. Now, if I can get out of here. This is a safety nut. <clears throat> This is a safety nut, by the way. They crush the end of these so they don't spin free. Obviously, you wouldn't want this to come out uh, when you're trying to break. And that's a little shoulder bolt. That's actually kind of specialty hardware. So we'll see how we go, though, with the new one. What we got to do to put it back. So that's it. Let me see if I can crack these two lines off. And then uh, we'll pull those bolts out, get her home. Well, get her home free. You know the master cylinder is probably pretty good when you crack the line, you pull it off, and dust comes out. <laughs> that's probably not the best. One was a half inch, one is a different size. So we'll grab a new and improved line wrench. One more line down, rip those bolts out of there, and we'll see what kind of fire we're cooking with over here. Let me get that out and get it to you, and then uh, we'll drop this bad boy. All right, cracked it loose. Let's see what kind of dust comes out of old Betsy now. Twenty bago, I should say. Come on, Jack. 
Another uh, interesting deal. These are quarter inch lines. So I was waiting on new line. I bought an ICOP quarter inch line. And the Tahoe Master is quarter inch line as well. So that will work out perfect. So I don't have to jump it from my like 3 16 down to a quarter or uh, up to a quarter, I should say. It's been a long day, people. Bear with me. Oh, the struggle is real. Come on, mother effer. I know I can't turn up my hand, can I? Nope. I'm just gonna make you guys watch this because you're probably at home like, give me that wrench, I can do that better. Oh, but can you? Would you struggle as hard as I am struggling holding a GoPro doing it? That is the real question. Oh, come on! Come on, for the love of brake lines. We are victorious. We got it. Pull those bolts. Jam this boy out of here. We'll, we'll show you guys what we're working with. Yay! Victorious. All right, well here she is. Let's take this thing over. Get a quick size comparison. Maybe a measurement. So we got it out, let's kind of throw them down side by side. See what we're uh, dealing with over here. Exhibit A and exhibit B. All right, so there you go. I'll have to get a measurement on it, but this just from looking at it looks longer than this. But obviously the total on this is longer than that. So. Real quick, just so I know, I will pull a measurement from the back of this to the edge of that real quick, and then we'll run over on the Winnebago, throw the tape on it, see if there's even remotely a chance of that thing uh, clearing. Although the other issue I see where we're probably not gonna win is these guys are at the front. So even this is where the shock is. So it'd literally have to be past this line so let me measure that I'll tell you what the measurement is we will drum roll see if that thing will fit seven thousand seven thousand here we go oh look at those measuring skills so awesome let's just say 14 and a half to be on the safe side we got to clear 14 to clear these guys double check yeah we'll say 14 14 and a half is like touching, so we gotta have more room than that, which I don't think we do. But that's the life of Turbo and a Bagel building, huh? Oh, back in my cave. Well, the shock sits right at 14, so uh, we're screwed with that. We'll have to move that. Although the top mounting position on the mount up there, it has uh, like an L shape to it or whatever, anyway. I think um, the mounting hole on that though is basically like a little, I think it's a half inch hole. Uh, half inch or so anyway. I could get some thick plate steel, set it off as far as I need to drill a hole in the end of that and then make sure everything works out. And then I think just weld that plate steel on for the new shock mount. So um, hopefully that'll work instead of moving that whole entire mount. But so we don't fit there, let's go see. Okay, so it's shock towers in the way. Let's see what we're looking at with wise and the rest of the measurements. Um, yeah, I can already tell. Yeah, see width wise here. Well, actually, that's top to bottom, so that's width wise. So, so we're kind of like this. Oh, pissing all over my. So I guess maybe. Well, uh, still wider. On center, three and a half. Yeah, three and a half on center. Uh, look at that, dude. Pretty much three and a half on center as well. Maybe oblong it a little bit. Height-wise, though, we're gonna be out. Let's uh, say two and a half, and then this one is way out of bounds. 
We were like four and a half. So that's where we're at. Uh, height wise, we'll have to go see on that plate if I have room for that. At least width wise, the holes seem the same. The whole top portion of this might actually be friendly. And if it is, because this is longer uh, than the other one, I might be able to just to get away with, if I can get the two top ones to mount or they're close enough, we'll just knock those studs out or cut them off and then I'll just drill a couple holes. And we are in like Flynn, so other than the added length that we don't, that we don't have, but uh, those are the struggles. I think for this episode, we are pretty much good for today. I'm not gonna put a bunch of extra time in uh, today, like I said, it's after hours during the week, but I'm glad I got that out. We got some rough measurements. Um, now I can break this thing, probably break it apart and get the Hydro Boost mounted. And that'll be easiest because it's easier to handle that way. And then we'll figure out how to stuff the master on there. I gotta get the reservoir. And then after that, just make a few lines, put a little line lock in there so we can do some smoky burnouts. That's what I'm talking about. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your dog, uh, tell your grandma, tell somebody. We're, in, I guess, in quarantine. Tell all the people on the Zoom party that you're having while you're sitting at home, talking to everybody, like your work colleagues, while you're sitting there without pants on. Tell them to go watch Burn Down. You guys, I'm out. <laughs>